Hello, everybody. Let me let me introduce myself. I'm Mohamed Al Jarrah, a PhD candidate at the University of Manchester. I'm going to present my article on the performance of Dowling Noma systems over high parallel feeding channels. My co-authors are Dr. Arafat Al Bouyek from Khalifa University and Dr. Ahmad Al Sousa from the University of Manchester. Due to the increasing demands on network resources, NOMA is introduced to enhance the spectral efficiency of the network. In general, models like Nakagami and Rayleigh fading channels assume very large number of reflectors. However, in, in areas like rural areas, the number of reflectors is usually limited, and thus hyper Rayleigh channel is better fits such channels. The typical system model of NOMA system in Dowling scenario consists of a base station transmitting data traffic to two users using the same resource block. And to do so, the, the base station superimpose the, the, the signals of, of these users as shown in, in equation one. And uh, it's shown in equation two for a special case when two users are, uh, are deployed. And usually one of these users is close to the base station, which applies sick detection to, to decode its own signal. And the other user is far away from the base station. <clears throat> In hyperrelly fading channels, let's assume that we have a number of scatterers in the environment, then the received signal at the nth user can be, can be displayed as, as this equation, which is, or which contains a sum of, of all reflected signals. And the figure here shows the, the hyperrelly fading channel and it's compared to, to the Rayleigh channel and um, it can be seen from this picture that for, for low number of reflectors, there's a big deviation between hyper Rayleigh -really fading channel and the, the standard Rayleigh. And in order to, to, to simulate the normal system, we need to order the, the channels. And thus these, uh, these two figures show the, the ordered channels or the, the ordered hyper Rayleigh -really channels. At the receiver side, users need to, to implement the successive interference cancellation or what's called SIC in order to, to extract their own signals. <clears throat> the simulation parameters used in this paper are as follows. <clears throat> Monte Carlo simulation with 10 to the seven realizations was used also, the base station use a single. The base station and users use a single antenna, and and the base station apply gray coding with QPSK constellation. The channel between the base station and each user is modeled as ordered hyper Rayleigh -really flat fading channel with unit power, and the number of users is two. And the power allocation coefficients is. Uh, are set to 0.7 and 0.3 unless it's specified otherwise. This figure shows the bit error rate of two users for different values of mixing coefficient A. And it also compares the performance of hyper Rayleigh channel with, with the standard Rayleigh channel. And as, as can be seen from this picture, there's a big difference between the, the, the bit error rate performance between, <coughs> between hyper Rayleigh and the standard Rayleigh channel. And in this simulation, we consider the, the, the two ray model or hyper Rayleigh channel with, uh, with number of scatterers equals two. This figure shows the bit error rate for two user NOMA system for different values of number of scatterers. 
and the the results is also compared with with the standard Uranus channel, and as can be seen from this picture, as the the number of scatterers increase, the performance uh, of hyper Rayleigh channel starts approaching the Rayleigh or the standard Rayleigh channel. <coughs> This figure shows the bit error rate for with different values of the power allocation coefficients. And it can be seen from this picture that if, if the power coefficients or if the total power is, is equally divided into uh, onto the two users, or if, if you use beta one equals beta two uh, and equals one half, the performance of the system will be uh, so bad. In conclusion, the bit rate performance of Dowling Noma was studied under hyper channel. Also, sick base detection was applied by users for efficient signal extraction. It has been shown that there's considerable difference in the bit rate values when hyper channel is compared to the standard one. And it was also shown that the power allocation is very critical to provide users adequate, adequate quality of service in terms of the bit error rate. For future work, future work may include the, the analysis of bit error rate for normal communication system and the hyper really fading channel. Also the optimum power allocation for user equipments which guarantee the best quality of service for all users will be studied. And this is an acknowledgement for, for the supporters of, of this project. And thanks for your attention. For any question, you can contact me on this email address. <clears throat>